the Carabao Cup final combined 11. Some of these choices might surprise you. In goal, we're going Petrovic. I think Kelleher has been poor for Liverpool when he has had to step in. And Petrovic has been decent for Chelsea. So he's going in as the keeper. Right back, Connor Bradley. It's a toss-up between him and Gusto. Obviously, Trent and James are both injured. But I think Bradley slightly edges it. He's a bit more about him going forward. And he's had a bigger impact on this Liverpool team than Gusto has for Chelsea. Centre-backs are Kanate and Van Dijk. That is the only right answer. Caldwell has been decent, but he has been nowhere near the level of these two. Left back, Chilwell and Robertson, they're both coming back from injuries, but I think overall, Robertson is the better player. You're talking about one of the best left backs the Premier League has ever seen. Into midfield, the man Liverpool missed out on in the summer, Casado, does not start in this team. Endo has been the better player this year. Beside him then, I'm going to go Enzo. I've given this man a lot of criticism this year, but he has put in a lot of big performances over the last few games, and it's helped. Chelsea improved their form. To complete the midfield, it has to be Alexis McAllister. This man has been on fire this season. So underrated. For 30 million, you're getting a World Cup winner and someone that has transformed this Liverpool team. Right wing has to be Mo Salah. Even if he's playing on one leg, he still has more ability than Cole Palmer, even though he has been good this year. Left wing, Diaz or Sterling? Sterling's been okay this year, but Diaz is at another level and he's only going to continue to get better. So he goes in ahead of Sterling. And up front, there's only one man leading this team and that is Darwin Nunes. Never mind Jackson, never mind Nkunku. Nunes is the man. Let me know if you change anything and what score do you think the final is going to be tomorrow.